I get asked this question all the time. How do you back up your files? And there's definitely several different ways I do it. But what I find more interesting about that question is, how do you back up your files when you're somewhere like this? I've been asked this on Twitter, on Instagram, I've been emailed, the YouTube comments, literally Facebook, what else have I, Flickr, who still uses Flickr? Anyway, I've been asked this so much, it's obviously a point of concern for a lot of people and let's be honest, the more shooting that you do, you start having more and more footage. You've got drone footage, you've got A camera, B camera, GoPro cameras, different DSLRs, and you need to back all that stuff up into one shoot, and then where do you put those files, and what kind of drives do you use, and, and how does all that work? Now, I'm gonna go into how to do all that in studio so that you can have a very reliable system in place for all of that, but something that I think is very important that not enough people talk about is how to actually back up, store, and organize, and do all of those things in the field when you're actually shooting before you even get home to archive and, and do all that stuff which we'll talk about later. So let's say you're on an ice cap, you're in the middle of the mountains, in the middle of nowhere, and a helicopter just drops you and you're on your own for a little bit. What do you do? Hypothetical? Let's say you've got footage from that whole day, you were shooting the whole way over, but that helicopter left and your laptop was on it but you're running out of card space. You've only got a couple gigs left, what are you gonna do? You're gonna drop down to small JPEG instead of RAW? You're gonna shoot, you know, six, you're gonna shoot 480p, maybe 720, 720. Remember the days when that was like, oh. What do you, like, like honestly, you're not gonna try and cripple your own media so that you can fit more onto a card because then what's the point of even shooting it? You need to back that footage up. Typically, you would put a new card in, but maybe you don't have a new card. Maybe you only have one, or maybe that second card is also full, and the third card, you just forgot in the hotel room, transferring footage to your laptop. Who knows? There's there's so many circumstances that could happen. You need a system where you can dump that card, organize it, back it up, and then get back to shooting right away. Now the problem is all the methods to do this require a laptop or having something with you in the field. But let's say, for instance, we were on this glacier, that happened, and I needed to dump my footage. The helicopter left me there and my laptop was on it. So I have this. I'm gonna back up right now, dump some footage. There's Johnny right here. So this is called the Narbox, and there's a bunch of ports on it so you can plug in USB 3, card readers, hard drives, micro SD, compact flash, CFast, readers into it to read different cards. Basically everything's in here. And the best part about this, waterproof, shockproof. I gotta go find it, but. <laughs> It's all organized into a nice visual, really, really clean workflow so that you can find your files no problem. If you plug this into your computer after as a hard drive, all the footage that you've been backing up like on the go when you're out here in the middle of nowhere, it's all organized and sorted by date already. So then I just take those files and dump them into like an offsite drive and that's where they're stored forever. But this is my workflow pretty much from start to finish. When I'm out in places like this and I need to dump footage, I don't wanna bring my laptop. My bag's heavy enough. I wanna bring my laptop, I don't wanna bring the charger for it, I don't wanna plug it into a generator. All I gotta do is just take this, open up these ports, oh look at that, they're dry, why? Because it's waterproof. Turn it on, connect my phone, good to go. Now the guys at Narbox sent me this months ago. I've had it for quite a while and I've held back on doing a review because I wanted to actually use it a bunch of times. I wanted to see if it would come in handy and if it was something that I could get behind and if it was something that would solve the issue that I was having. And I'm happy to say it most definitely does. So. 
months after using this, I've actually had several units. I can tell you, oh, this is now a key component in my kit. I don't go anywhere without it. It's been to Africa, it's been to Switzerland, it's been to BC, it's been to the highest mound, to the lowest point of a lake. It's literally been everywhere. And I can say that it has got me out of several jams and just given me that peace of mind. I'm not limited by anything. I'm not limited by a memory card. I can shoot however much I want to shoot and I can post it whenever I want to post it. And it's going to be backed up and saved and stored right here. Now, one of the cool features of this thing, which I think is super helpful is let's say you're in the field of shooting, but you want to update your whole community and your fan base with an Instagram story. You want to post something to the internet, but you don't have that laptop. So typically you'd have to go back, dump the card and then open up Premiere and then format everything on color graded and add your music and then airdrop. It's a big process. Now we do it because that's what we love to do and it's fun. But when you're in the middle of the mountains or you're sitting on a speedboat in the middle of a lake and you don't have your computer with you, what do you do? So this actually comes with an app. Now that app has editing capabilities. You can color grade on this app. You can add music. You can transfer all of the footage from your camera to the Narbox. Then you connect to the Narbox via Wi-Fi dump, save, and organize all your footage. And then from there, you can actually bring it into their editor and cut a small little sequence, a piece, a full video if you want, a highlight reel, and then you can share it right from there, all without having to need a laptop with you. So when I heard all this, I was like, yeah, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Send me one, I'll play with it. They sent me one, and since then I've been like, it's rugged though, it's taken a beating. Took the dust of Africa, took water from the lake, it's been frozen on a glacier. I wasn't easy on this thing, right? Like, if this was something that I was gonna keep in my camera bag and use and depend on to back up my files for this vlog and this channel and the projects that people are paying me to do, this needs to work. The product page will only say enough. You have to actually get out there and see if it works for you and if it's something that's gonna actually benefit you as a filmmaker and make your life easier. Now this is a small team of guys, just a small team of guys out in California who made this because they were suffering from the same thing. Going up to the mountains, snowboard trip, bringing their laptops, sitting in the truck on the way back with a million wires and dongles and hard drives and everything connected just to upload an Instagram story or upload a video. And they were like this, we can't be the only ones out here that are having this issue. And they're not because I was also one of those people. So when they send it to me and we had some calls and chats, it was really cool to know that they're super open to user feedback. So they've already taken tons of feedback they've had from a bunch of pro photographers and filmmakers and have already implemented new changes and updates that are constantly being rolled out for both iOS and Android. So it's nice to know that the company that makes this are standing behind their product, but they're listening to the people that are using it. And if they think they have a good idea or it's something that makes sense, they're rolling that into an update constantly to just make this thing more and more practical. And that's something that's super cool. This has a 128 gigabyte hard drive built into it and there's an Intel chip inside it. Now, if you need more than 128 gigs, no worries. All you have to do is just plug a hard drive into this because it has the USB ports that you need for that. Just plug it in and then you have the expansion of whatever you want. It's limitless. So I've got one of these. This is a terabyte, this little thing. Like I could legitimately eat this. This is a terabyte. So I just plug this into this and I'm all set. There's nothing that I could be shooting during the day that's gonna make me need more than this right here. And if you have like a modern smartphone these days, the screens are huge. So you're able to just sit there and look through some of the shots or look through the photos on a large screen and be like, ah, you know what? I missed focus. I wanna do that again. Or you know what? That's perfect. You can show everybody. It looks great, amazing, you're done. It organizes everything by date. So when you plug this into your computer, the date is there, you know, July 20th, boom, all the files are right there. You just drag that into the cloud or archive it later on a bigger drive for storage purposes. Now, if you fly a lot of drones, same thing. You can land that drone, stick the SD card right in the micro SD card slot, preview the drone footage, back it up, clear that card and send the drone back up into the air. So as a vlogger, a cinematographer, a photographer, someone that just shoots for fun, that shoots for a living, 
I can say with the utmost certainty that the Narbox is something I would highly recommend to anybody that wants to have a solution to back up in the field, organize their shots, and even the ability to edit on the go without having to bring a laptop. It's a small footprint. It's a really, really great product made by super cool people that's constantly being refreshed and updated. Now we're also gonna give some away. We're gonna give away five actually. So comment below, your chances on this are even better than they've been in past giveaways. They've agreed to take care of the shipping and everything like that. So it doesn't matter where you're from. If you want a Narbox, comment something below. So hit that like button, smash it if you so desire. Subscribe if you aren't already. And like I said, drop a comment. We're gonna choose five winners. We'll probably announce them in a week from now. And it doesn't matter where you live, we'll ship anywhere in the world. So thanks again for watching. And, and I'll see you guys in the next video. I mean, you can, you can stick one of those red whips on this and just go jogging with it. Just in case you're on a jog and you film something and you want to back up your footage, don't mind that. I mean, that doesn't, you get used to it, right? You could do it. You could do it.